Hi everyone, welcome to episode 4 of this series. To recap, in this series I will go over the basic DPS rotations for each class. These aren't intended to represent the absolute best top DPS rotations possible, but they are basic DPS rotations that are still capable of putting out near optimal DPS. Today's profession is the engineer. Engineers are capable of both extremely strong burst and sustained DPS. The advanced DPS rotation for Engineer involves rapid kit swapping to Flamethrower every 6 seconds for Detonate Flame Blast. To put how powerful that is into perspective, it hits nearly as hard as Warrior's Greatsword Rush number 5, but on a 6 second cooldown instead of a 20 second cooldown like the Warrior has. As a trade off for all that power, this requires a ton of keystrokes and positioning as you won't be able to detonate the flame blast properly if you're inside the boss's hitbox or against a wall. As a result, I cannot recommend this sort of rotation for a beginner to the class or even an intermediate player, and I would only suggest it for engineer mains who are dedicated to their class and will put the hours and hours into it that it would take to master it. So for the purposes of this guide, we'll depart from flamethrower and utilize bomb kit instead, although I won't actually be using bomb kit in the rotation. So when do we use the bomb kit? We use the bomb kit for utility stealth or blinds, or for mid-fight might stacking with big ol' bomb, being sure not to knock the boss back, or putting defiant stacks on him when your team doesn't want him to. Additionally, the bomb kit should be used for auto attacks instead of grenade kit for any boss with retaliation, or any boss with frequent condition cleanses. For the rotation itself, we'll start with our tool, bait, tool belt skill grenade kit, uh, grenade barrage. This is not only one of our hardest hitting skills, but it's also our best skill at stacking vulnerability and will proc our static discharge trait for additional damage. We will interrupt whatever we're doing at the time and use grenade barrage anytime it's off cooldown. Um, the next thing we do after grenade barrage is an elixir gun, acid bomb. You use acid bomb uh, in elixir gun, being sure to weapon swap to rifle immediately after you after casting in order to interrupt the launch backwards this does take some practice to master consistently however and even if you are launched back a small distance it won't matter um, it won't matter because our next skill is jump shot and jump shot will move us right back to the boss and even with a small gap between the boss and us from the acid bomb both hits of the jump shot should land after jump shot we use blunderbuss and then swap to grenade kit immediately in grenade kit we'll use freeze grenade followed by shrapnel grenade and then we'll continue to auto attack with grenade and using shrapnel grenade off cooldown we'll continue rotating between grenade and shrapnel grenade until acid bomb is off cooldown and then we can begin the rotation again So that's the basic engineer PV DPS rotation. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and if you have any questions or if you have any NG tips to share, please feel free to hit up the comments and I will see you guys next time. Thanks.